I see in the whites of their eyes, John Stamos and Melissa George are now frightened for their lives. And I came this close, this close to killing John Stamos and Melissa George, the leads of this series, on the second take of the first TV show that I was ever in. My story, the it, this actually is the first, uh, my first acting job. So this is the job that I got my SAG card, the first time I'm on television, the first job I got when I was in LA. So this was like, you know, a big deal for me, right? And in the grand scheme of things, it's an utterly forgettable uh, TV show. Um, but it had potential. It was one of those shows, you know, you look back on it, it was called Thieves. It was on ABC, it was created, and the uh, head writer was a, a, a guy I knew named Jim Leonard. Um, and uh, that's part of the reason why I got the gig, because he said, you know, he wanted me to come in and audition for this. And it was just a, a little role. It's a five line and under role. Um, so it's five lines or less. Five and under role, my first one, so I, you know, I get the joint sag. And I was playing getaway driver. That was my job. And, but the scene was with Brenda Strong. Now, you may not know Brenda Strong by name, but Brenda Strong um, is, uh, there's a famous, like, uh, uh, arc that she's in, in, uh, uh, Seinfeld that, uh, Sue Ellen, Sue Ellen Minsky, Sue Ellen, I, I, uh, she wears a bra as a top and she causes a car accident. It's a whole big thing, right? Uh, and Brenda Strong is also the voiceover in Desperate Housewives. She's the housewife that commits suicide at the beginning of the thing. And uh, she's a striking woman and just as nice as a day is long. Like somebody like if you get your first gig, uh, you know, for a TV job, these are the people you want to be hanging out with. Yeah. Uh, so she was really great. And John Stamos uh, and Melissa George were the, were the leads in the show. Uh, and so uh, I got to talk to John Stamos a lot. Uh, uh, also nice as the day is long. And he was very excited to hear that this was my first SAG job. So this was, uh, this was 2002 or 2003. I want to say 2003. So uh, I get hired. Uh, basically, I didn't, I don't think I auditioned for this, actually. I said I auditioned for it earlier, but I think I just got cast as this. Um, yeah, well, that's when you have friends who create series. They can go make it that guy. Um, so I, I get to set. I'm, we're downtown LA. Now downtown LA, I mean, LA is all is kind of this amorphous place. You know, you don't really know where downtown is, where the center is. This is it. And it's, and it's it, at the time, uh, it was a little frightening. Uh, we are in an alleyway. We are in a very famous alleyway. Uh, this is Beretta Alleyway. You know, Beretta Alley. Beretta was a TV show from the 70s starring Robert Blake as this uh, private detective. He had a, uh, a cockatoo that was, you know, that was his pet that rode around on his shoulder all the time. You know, it was the 70s. That's, that's the kind of things that were on TV. But Beretta Alley is very famous in LA. A lot of, a lot of stuff's been shot there. A lot of people have been shot there. Um, and, you know, and it's an active, like, there are unhoused people living in that alley. And, you know, it's, so it's, it's, it, it's a very gritty downtown area. So. I'm, I, I get to set, they're like, okay, here's your car. First of all, they never asked me if I even had a driver's license, but I did. Uh, and they said, okay, you're gonna, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get in the car. This is a Lincoln Town car, it's a you know, big, yeah. big car. Um, uh, you're gonna drive uh, through this uh, chain link fence gate here, and you're gonna, pull, you're gonna stop right next to the uh, ambulance over there, and you're gonna have a, you hold a gun out the window, and then uh, Brenda Strong's gonna get in the car, and that's the scene. That's, that's your responsibility. You don't have any lines here, and that's what you're going to do. I'm like, great. <laughs> so I get in the car. And uh, <laughs> I get in the car, and then they bring the gun. And they brought the largest gun they could find, largest handgun they could find. Now, my hands aren't terribly, terribly big. You know, They're like you know, my average size hands. Sure, sure. Uh, but I have kind of short fingers. They gave me a Desert Eagle 44 Magnum to hold out, hold out the window. And now I've got to drive one hand, and I've got to hit a mark, OK? Um, I've got to make a turn, holding the gun out the window, hit a mark, and wait for the other actor to get in the car. 
okay? I have to get close to the ambulance, within like six, eight inches of the ambulance. And I have to hit a mark because if I go over the mark, the leads of the show are standing right there. There's nothing between me and them. Nothing. All right? So they give me a hand radio, little walkie-talkie, and I've got it in the floorboard there. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting, right? And, and, and I'm starting to sweat because I'm like, okay, you know, just, just drive the car, right? So first take, action. Give it a little gas, drive in there nice and easy, boom. Like, like five miles an hour, boom. They're like, cut, go back. I get, I get out of the car because somebody else has got to back the car up. I get out of the car, they, put them, they take the car back, I get back in there, they're like, no, you got to go faster, you got to go faster, you got to come in, you got to hit that mark, it's got to be, you got to come right in there, okay? So give it a little more gas this time. I'm like, okay. All right, so got the gun out the window, action. I floor it, I come in there, and I blow past the mark. I hit the brakes, but I'm going faster now. I blow past the mark, and I look, and I see, I see in the whites of their eyes, John Stamos and Melissa George are now frightened for their lives. And I came this close, this close, to killing John Stamos and Melissa George, the leads of this series, on the second take of the first TV show that I was ever in. And I jam on the brakes, right? And I think I might have even dropped the gun that time. I don't know. Uh, then they're like, cut, you missed the mark. Uh, and John, I can see John Stamos looking or talking to somebody, like, you know, and pointing down, like, can we get, is there some, is there like a, a large steel object that we can put here uh, to keep that from happening? So then uh, I, I go back again, and they're like, okay, this time, you know, you, you got that, the speed was right, but you, you know, got to hit that mark, got to hit that mark, got to hit that mark. And so it was like three or four more times. It's too fast, too slow. No, it never was too fast again. Too slow, uh, too far away from the, from the ambulance. You're, you know, you're out of the shot. All this stuff. All these really precision little things, okay? So finally, after like take, take six or seven or eight, they finally got one, right? Uh, Brenda Strong gets in the car, cut. Now they're going to do the other setup. Now it's the car is going to take off and, and drive away. Now they get a stunt driver. And all he does is like uh, step on the accelerator and make a right turn and go, and then some cop cars come. And I'm like, that I could have done. That didn't, what, what, that doesn't take any precision. That doesn't take any precision. He's just leaving. That's all he's doing is leaving, you know? So that was the day I almost killed. My first, my first TV job almost killed... Uh, John Stamos and Melissa George. Hi, my name is Lucas Sierra Pacheco and I want to thank you for watching our first episode of Callback. Please consider subscribing so we can bring in more professionals like Jason to give their best stories about the industry. Thanks and have a good day.